topic we are going to discuss today is that recently india has decided to give access to two indian ports to nepal that is the issue we will be discussing now let us see what is the current issue india to grant nepal access to two key ports in gujarat and odisha under the trade and transit treaties so recently india has decided to grant its access of two indian ports one in gujarat and other in odisha to nepal the move is expected to come into effect from 2023 as the two countries plan to upgrade their trade transit ties even as nepal seeks greater access in the indian markets for tea spices so india is planning to give it give the access to nepal in 2023 and the two countries plan to upgrade their trade and transit ties and recently nepal is also seeking greater access to the indian markets for their products now let us see more into the issue despite several challenges plaguing the bilateral relationship of late india and nepal are all set to upgrade their bilateral trade and transit ties under which kathmandu will be given access to some of the key indian ports along with enhanced reach reach for its agricultural produce so as of now there are certain challenges between india and nepal relation like the nepal's uh, tilt towards china and the kalapani limbulek and limbadira issues so despite this india and nepal are planning to upgrade their existing trade relations and the nepal products will be given a greater access to the indian market and the nepal government can get access to two major ports in india so currently nepal already has access to two important indian ports they are the ports of kolkata and visakhapatnam so under its neighborhood first policy narendra modi government has decided that it will now allow nepal to export and to export and import goods from two india strategic ports mundra port in gujarat and dhamra port in odisha under the yet to be revised transit treaty negotiation for which are going on so as of now under the india's neighborhood first policy india is planning to give some of its two of its major strategic ports that is the mundra port in gujarat and the dhamra port in odisha to nepal so that they can gain access to these ports and these negotiations are yet to come in 2023 now let us see what is the importance for nepal with this deal such a move according to sources will not only give nepal enhanced entry into the indian market but will also enable kathmandu to use india as a gateway to access other markets in southeast and central asian regions so if this deal happens the nepal can enhance its presence in the indian market and also use these ports to connect to other countries in southeast asia and the central asia so that their global trade gets enhanced the these ports will act as a gateway to those countries as we all know nepal is a landlocked country so gaining access to a port is of significant importance to nepal as it doesn't has its own port this deal has been a long pending demand by nepal which had been pushing india for such an upgradation in both the trade as well as transit treaties that were signed decades ago the agreement was initially finalized as the treaty of trade and transit was signed between the friendly neighbors in september 1960 so the treaty of trade and transit was signed in 1960 thereafter in 1978 the treaty was split into two trade and transit and they are revised every 7 years now let us look into the map this is india and this country is nepal as we can see it is a landlocked country and this this port is the mundra port and this is the dhamra port in odisha and we and we are currently discussing about giving access of these two ports to nepal but with this nepal will be able to connect with other countries in a better way 
as they does not have a maritime port of their own now let us see how this helps nepal the treaty the trade treaty allows nepal unilateral duty free access to indian market even as india remains nepal's largest trading partner so as of now india is nepal's largest trading partner this treaty this treaty will allows uh, nepal products to come into the indian market duty free however nepal continues to complain that it has not been able to penetrate the indian markets for its goods due to various non tariff barriers so as of now india is providing duty free access that is tariff free access to nepal products but still they are complaining that they are not able to penetrate the indian market because of various non tariff barriers since 2016 nepal has been pushing india to make a significant change to the treaty even as it continues to to bat for upgrading 1950 treaty of peace and friendship that address all issues under the entire gamut of bilateral ties between new delhi and kathmandu including upgradation of the trade and transit agreements so so from 2016 onwards nepal has been pushing to make some significant changes in the treaty of peace and friendship agreement of 1950 and the and also about upgrading the trade and transit agreements with india now let us see what are the other issues between india and nepal territorial disputes one of the main challenges in the in indo nepal ties is the kalapani boundary issue in 2019 nepal released a new political map claiming kalapani limpyadura and lipulek of uttarakhand and the area of sasta as part of nepal's territory so in 2019 nepal released a new map and it claimed the following regions kalapani limpyadura and lipulek and sasta region as part of nepal's territory but it is actually india's territory that is one of the major and recent issue between india and nepal the second major issue is the china's intervention in the recent years nepal has drifted away from india's influence and and china has gradually filled the space with investments and aid and loans so as of now nepal is showing a little bit of tilt towards china that is also a cause of that is also a major concern for india and there are certain issues with the, the treaty of peace and friendship at first there was no issue about this treaty between india and nepal which was signed in 1950 but recently nepal is trying to claim that this treaty is unequal in nature so that is also a major issue between india and nepal now let us take a look at what is india's neighborhood first policy india shares its geographical boundary with afghanistan bhutan bangladesh maldives pakistan nepal and sri lanka India's policy towards its towards its immediate neighborhood is based on efforts to build peace and cooperation in South Asia. So India shares geographical boundary with many countries and India's foreign policy towards its neighbors is to build peace and cooperation among the various neighboring countries so that it will promote connectivity and trade in the region. its neighborhood first policy accords primacy to nations in periphery with the focus on encouraging trade connectivity and people to people contact so by the neighborhood first policy india gives a preference to its neighbors other than countries which are located far away so that it will encourage trade connectivity and people to people contact in the south asian region so india's neighborhood first policy is basically india's foreign policy towards its neighbors to encourage peace and cooperation among the countries which are neighboring india to maintain peace and stability in the region now let us see what are the components of neighborhood first policy the first component is giving immediate priority to neighbors so by this policy india gives first priority to its neighbors dialogue it focuses on vigorous regional diplomacy by engaging with neighboring nations and building political connectivity through dialogue so so india will try to um, establish various political connectivity between the neighboring countries through dialogue and resolving bilateral issue is also a com- major component 
of neighborhood first policy establishing connectivity between nations is also another component next important component is that economic cooperation between the neighboring nations that is also a major component technical cooperation assisting in disaster management so if a, a neighbor con, neighboring country is affected by a disaster india will provide its support thereby assisting them when it comes to the disaster management military and defense cooperation india will also conduct various uh, military exercises with for uh, neighboring countries to en to enhance the military and defense cooperation all these are components of india's neighborhood first policy with this we are ending our lecture if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel thank you